Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and today we're going to try a new release from Zingari. It is a sample. I bought the Gather, which is um, peach, bitter orange, and musk, but we're not going to use this one today. We're going to use this one in a regular uh, face shaving video. Today's a head shaving video, but don't run away yet. There might be a giveaway. Stay tuned. Anyway, this one is called <clears throat> the Navigator by Zingari and she threw that in. Uh, when I bought the uh, the uh, gather, terrific scent, <laughs> terrific scent for me. Bright, a little sweet. Uh, I like what Zangari does in terms of putting their notes right here, where you can see them. And so on this one, it is amber, uh, marine, and musk. It has a sort of an aquatic scent to it, but you get just a slight bit of that the musk. This is more sweet and musky uh, for me, which is really, really nice. The cost on this is $22 for five ounces or $4.40 an ounce. And on our cost chart there, you see it's starting to get expensive, uh, but it's not that $5 plus where it really starts, where it is expensive, I should say. Really, really nice scent on this soap. I really like it. By the way, these two releases, the Navigator and the Gather, will go on sale for the general public at, on the 4th of July at 9 a.m. Central Time. That is Central Time. So if you're interested, check it out. And we're gonna go ahead and get started today. We're gonna to be using the leaf on the dome here. And we're gonna be talking about the leaf. We're gonna be talking about this soap release from Zingari and just generally having a great shave, hopefully. Gonna use the cube just a little bit up here. We've, we have used Zingari soaps many, many times. The quality is proven, trusted, great quality. Sorry soap. about that. The video just cut off for some unknown reason. So anyway, we're using the PA cube here and the Zingari soap is proven in my eyes to be quite a good quality soap. So we know we're not gonna have any quality issues. You can definitely, from a quality perspective, um, buy this soap with confidence. Creamy, creamy lather. I'll roll in a little photo of what it looked like in the bowl there for you. This is the PAA Switchback 400 with the AP Shape Co. Sinbad Knot, which has not shedded a single fiber. I know David Gonzalez, So Sharp David, bought one and uh, it shed. It's still shedding and I'm, I keep telling him, send it back or, you know, reach out to AP Shape Co. because it should not be shedding after, you know, some uh, synthetics drop a couple of fiber at first, they're just loose from the factory. But if they're dropping every single shave, five, six shaves, something's wrong. It's it's defective. Um, synthetics don't shed typically the way some natural hair brushes shed. And if they're shedding after a period of time, there's something wrong with it. All right, so the blades today with our um, leaf is the Astra Superior. Um, really, really nice razor the leaf here it takes three half de blades i'll show you real quick in case it's your first time looking at the leaf they're loaded in there you do have to snap them in half you just do it in the paper it's no big deal you've seen me do it on the channel before and if you're new to this um it is nothing to worry about in terms of putting the blades in i find this to be a very effective head shaver in fact i saw not too long ago on twitter that i think it was adam from Leaf shaved his head because of all of <laughs> all of us who use it for head shaving. This seems to be a very popular razor for head shaving. And so he wanted to try it out. And I saw a picture on Twitter where he shaved his head. So that's pretty cool. You know, he shaved his head just to try it out. Awesome. By the way, this soap smells great. I didn't buy this one because I was afraid of the musk, honestly. But it is definitely worthy of buying and I would probably pick it up. Uh, down the road. Um, really good quality, like I said before. I think you can, most of the artisans today are making good quality products and Zingari is no exception. It is one terrific uh, base by all accounts. I don't think I've seen anybody who, who didn't appreciate the quality. For most people, when it comes down to the major artisans of which Zingari is one, in my view, comes down to whether you're gonna like the scent or not. And I do like the scent of uh, the Navigator. And I think if I'm not mistaken, Heather, you can correct me below if I'm wrong, that she said this was her own scent that she came up with. 
I hope I'm not confusing it with the gatherer. Um, but if I am, I apologize and I will uh, correct it with a comment or Heather, you can correct it with a comment. Um, but we were just talking about it. I really like uh, that Heather, you know, often speaks her mind. I remember on a, uh, on a, I don't know if it was a live or I think it was on the Razor Burden podcast where she and Jack from the Virtual Groom Room do a podcast. She was talking about some of the exotic ingredients and in soaps, which is what I call your, um, I'm joking when I say it, but chupacabra oil, unicorn milk, dragon tallow, so on and so forth. Um, that it's entirely possible in some cases that, you know, those ingredients may not make a lot of difference because they're in such a small quantity in a batch that it's just kind of on the label, you know. Um, and she wasn't taking a shot at other artisans, or at least I didn't take it that way. She was just saying from her own experience that, you know, in some cases, you have to put a little bit more of a particular ingredient in a soap to really make it worth using. And when you do, it's so cost prohibitive. Now you're talking seven, eight dollars to put, you know, one of these really swanky ingredients in a soap. And, you know, so, you know, you can take that into consideration. But I can tell you right now, I think in her soap, I don't remember off the top of my head. She's got some nice ingredients in here, some of the butters. Um, again, I'll put the ingredients there if I haven't already. Um, it's a good quality soap. I, don't, I haven't yet to see anybody not dig it, so in terms of quality. Um, one thing that was interesting, not too long ago, like a week or two ago, I saw the chief say he was going to go on live with uh, with Heather and Zagari, and then it was canceled at the last minute, and they've never come back on, so I don't know what happened there, but I would like to see them um, do that live and have that conversation. It was right after he made that video about declaration. Um, you know, he was expressing his displeasure, which he later made a video, not really backing off it, but saying that he was uh, not really happy with the way he expressed himself. And so they were supposed to talk about that, and they didn't. And who knows for what reason, but I hope they do it. Because I would like to see that. But, you know, who knows? Anyway, good quality soap here. No question about it. Okay. So between passes, we're going to talk about the giveaway, the giveaway. The good folks at LEAF have provided ta -da, a chrome LEAF. This is all metal, no plastic. LEAF is uh, really committed to the environment in terms of not using plastic, and that is okay in my view. Nothing wrong with that. Also, they've got a blade bank with it. They've got blades with it, of which I did pull two out because I wanted to use their blade, so... I did borrow two blades. <laughs> and this cool all metal stand that the leaf stands up in. So this is a, this kit, what is this? I think this is about $109. Um, you can also just buy the razor um, for $79. One thing I wanna say about this razor is it has a lifetime guarantee. So if something goes wrong with it, leaf will take care of it. It also has a 30 day satisfaction guarantee, meaning if you don't like it after a couple of weeks, you can send it back and get your money back. I think it's a terrific razor, particularly for head shaving. And you saw me use this earlier today for my face shave and it does just fine. This is not a cart razor, all right? This is not a cart razor. This is a cart razor. These are cartridges with plastic and so on and so forth. This is not this, no matter what So Sharp David says. Yes, it pivots. Yes, it uses multiple blades, but you can put just one blade in it and use it if you want. It's completely up to you. You can use one, two, three, whatever floats your boat. I've used two, I've used three. I can't really tell that much of a difference. I would like to use two side by side, but I don't wanna use this razor and get it dirty just for the sake of exploring and have to barber side it because it's gonna be up for giveaway. So how does the giveaway work? Well, it's quite simple. First of all, make a comment below can be about anything you want. But I would like it to be something about what you'd like to see on this channel coming up. It's product, um, tutorial, whatever you want. So make a comment below on this video. Then I want you to go to the So Sharp David channel 
and the video that he's using the Broman razor where he says the Broman of the leaf is a cart and I want you to hashtag it is not or, or excuse me the leaf is not a cart I'll put it right there for you the leaf is not a cart hashtag it on that particular video I will link the video below and we're just going to have some fun with this <laughs> again Hashtag on his video, the leaf is not a cart, not my video. You also need to make a comment on my video below. And in about two to three weeks, we will draw for this. Now, one of the things I want to mention is you have to be present or you have to watch the video to win. Oftentimes, I'll, I'll draw giveaway winners probably about half the time these days. And they never see the video where the drawing is announced. So I'll, I'll slip the drawing in unannounced. And the reason for that is this, these, these giveaways are for the people who are here day in, day out. You know, they're not just for folks who come for the giveaway. They see giveaway on a video and then they come and they never watch any more videos. Well, it's not for them. It's for you. Those of you who stick around. And so that's why we usually don't announce. We used to do it, but we don't anymore. We just, we'll just do the drawing at some random time, two or three weeks from now in a video and you have to be watching. And if you don't, after a couple weeks, we'll draw again at some point. I have a lot of stuff I have to redraw on that I haven't put back up for giveaway yet. This is a terrific quality soap yet. I don't know if you can see really that sheen on there in this light, but trust me when I tell you, this soap is no joke. It is really good. It is a really good scent. It is definitely one that I would buy and that I will pick up down the road, I bought so much stuff lately, I have to <laughs> take it easy. Um, but I did buy the gatherer, which you're going to see in a, in a regular, I, I call it regular shaving video, just meaning face shaving videos, because I know not everybody watches these. Um, but this is a good, another good quality offering from uh, Zingari. If you're a member of the tribe, you can get this right now. I don't know what that entails. Um, I don't know if it's like a club like Pete's or just you sign up for something. I have no idea. Um, but if you're a member of a tribe, you can get it right now. And uh, this is a nice thing. I found that so far, when it comes to Zingari, I have yet to miss on a scent. I have like maybe seven. I want to say somewhere around seven of her soaps now that I've bought in the last six months. Uh, you know, I didn't buy them all from her. I bought them from, you know, Maggard or West Coast or, or one of the retailers and her shop. And, uh, she's got some really good scents. I mean, they just appeal to me. They tend to be a little sweeter, cleaner, fresher. She ha hasn't really done a lot of, uh, darker, you know, some of the scents that really I don't like, which are earthy. Um, some of the, some of the soaps may have some earthy notes in them, but they don't come off as moldy or mildewy or funky. Um, so I don't know if that's by design or just, you know, she makes the sort of sense that she likes herself and maybe I'm in agreement with her on that, but I have liked just about all of them. Or in fact, I've liked every single one I've tried so far. The, well, actually the only one that wasn't for me was the number one. But that's was just because I'm not a rose scent person. But I completely understood when using that sample that other people might really like that. Because there are a lot of people that really like rose scents. That is a well-blended fragrance, that number one. So if you haven't tried that one uh, and you like rose, it's one of the better, to me, for me, it's one of the better rose scents that's got a lot of rose in it that I've um, smelled. It doesn't come off like what I call granny floral. And that is to say something you would imagine your grandmother to be wearing that smells great on her, but not on you, perhaps if you're a man. And if you're a female, it might be different. You might really appreciate it. Uh, might, you know, come off somewhat feminine. The number one was not one that I thought come off in a very sort of feminine way. And so it was rose well done, in my view. There is often soaps where rose is a Complimenting note, and it comes off pretty good. Um, uh, but number one, I thought was really good. And this one here, really nice scent too. So this is definitely on my list for 
down the road. I've done two, I mean, I've picked up so much stuff lately. I gotta, <laughs> gotta recoup, so. Oh man, the slickness here is fantastic. I'm using a lot of residual slickness there on the back of my head. Because the head, not only, the reason I say it's more difficult is not only can you not see, but it's so tough to reach certain areas because these crevices and, you know, there tends to be a fold towards the, when it gets towards your neck, it's really difficult. And up here, there's just a super difficult spot to get, but the leaf will get it. And when I was using regular DEs, I had trouble. And so using the leaf with this, was really easy for you to say. Residual slickness, this comes off great. Do be careful with the leaf, you can cut yourself. As you have seen <laughs> a few places on the dome here, but that's my fault, it's not the fault of the leaf. But don't think it's a cart, it's not a cart. And again, remember for the giveaway, one of the things you have to do, go to David Gonzalez's video, The Broman Razor, link below, and make that comment, the leaf is not a cart, hashtag. And we will enter you and make a, make a comment on this one too. And also I invite you to check out Zingari and Leaf. You know, follow them on their socials, Instagram, Twitter, whatever they're on. Leaf is on Twitter. I don't think Zingari is. A lot of people are ignoring Twitter and I don't think they should uh, artisans. Get on Twitter if you're an artisan. There's a lot of shavers on Twitter and it's being completely ignored. Okay, excellent shave. Let me rinse it down. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right. We're back with our Lancaster. Lancaster. Tell, which really just wicks the moisture away. That was a super smooth head shave. The leaf does it again. It is my preferred head shaver. There's just no question about it. Remember, full set being giveaway, given away, courtesy of Leaf. Thank you, uh, good people at Leaf. Going to be interviewing the fine people at Leaf at some point down the road. We'll bring that to you when we get that all lined up. Definitely got a lot of things to talk about. So today we use the Navigator by Zingari. I'll put a picture of the label uh, again right there for you. This goes on sale at 7-4 at 9 o'clock central time along with the Gatherer which is another terrific scent. You'll see that soon. Really really nice scent. Great performer. Great quality. Zingari for me I have not missed yet so that's great. We use the Switchback 400 from PAA with the Sinbad knot from AP Shade Coat. Knot of fiber has shed on that knot. It's terrific. We're going to finish off today since we're using a PAA brush with the PAA Future Fiction. It doesn't really smell anything like the Zingari Man um, Navigator, but I just wanted to use it. It's been a little while. This is a nice scent to get a little bit, bit of that aftershave burn, really, really pleasant. Sort of reminds me of one of the, I can't remember which one now, but there's a Sterling soap that has some similarities to this. I can't remember it, I'll link it. I'll put a, I'll put a note right there as to which one I'm talking about because I've completely drawn a blank. Remember, leaf giveaway, Zingari release, a lot of stuff going on. Remember to hit the subscribe button below if you're not subscribed because we have that 5,000 sub giveaway coming up. Until next time, I want to remind you, it's your shave, do it your way, and God bless.